before Microsoft was founded, businesses would rely on typewriters. If a document needed to be copied, people would use carbon paper. In 1975, Bill Gates and a man named Paul Allen formed a partnership. This partnership was named Microsoft. Microsoft was a small startup company that had world-changing views. Windows was announced in 1983. It took a while to be developed, though. But finally, on November 20th, 1985, Microsoft started shipping Windows 1.0. This is a brief demonstration of Windows 1.0 in demonstration. Windows now made it possible to just click around and point and click through the screens rather than typing MS-DOS commands. In Windows 1.0, there were drop-down menus, scroll bars, icons, and dialog boxes that made programs much easier to learn and much easier to use. Windows 1.0 also made it possible to switch among several programs without having to quit and restart each one. Windows 1.0 shipped with several programs, which included MS-DOS file management, Paint, Windows Writer, Notepad, Calculator, and the Calendar, and of course the Clock, which helped people manage their day-to-day -day activities. Windows 1.0 required a minimum of 256 kilobytes. Two double-sided floppy disk drivers and a graphics adapter card. On December 9th, 1987, Microsoft releases Windows 2.0. Windows 2.0 now has desktop icons and expanded memory. With improved graphics support, you can now overlap windows to speed up your work. Some software developers write their first Windows-based programs for this release. Windows 2.0 is designed for the Intel 286 processor. This is a brief demonstration of Windows 2.0 in action. Here you will see that you can overlay windows over each other. Windows 2.0 made it so you could have two windows open at the same time. For example, clock and calculator. As you can see, we have clock and calculator open at the, at the same time. The clock and the calculator can move anywhere in the window. This is the improvement Microsoft made in Windows 2.0. It's not fixed to the top or bottom anymore. You can simply move them around wherever you want them, conveniently placed. In 1988, Microsoft became the world's largest PC software company based on sales. Computers were starting to become a part of daily life for some office workers. This is also when Control Panel makes its first appearance in Windows 2.0. 